Hello friends, this video on solutions part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. To understand this uh, osmosis, let's understand this three terms. Isotonic, hypotonic and hypotonic. They are compatible terms. For example, if I say A is bigger than B, right? So I'm comparing A and B. So when I say a solution is hypotonic to another solution, that means I'm comparing, it's, it's, a, it's a comparative study actually, it's a comparative study, right? And this name is based on concentration of solute, let, let me write here, this is based on naming is based on concentration of solute. So, if there are two solutions, let's suppose A and B, let's suppose A is my blood and B is one more solution, B is my water solution and I take let's suppose 0.9% mass by volume NaCl in water. So if you talk about these two solutions, the this is solution B let's suppose. Now vapor pressure of A, Vp of a will be equal to Vp of B. Both are equal. So in that case, I'll say they are isotonic solution. Right? So you have two solutions having same osmotic pressure at a given temperature, they are called isotonic solution. So if you separate such kind of solution, for example, in this case A and B with a semi-permeable membrane, nothing will happen. No osmosis will happen. Right? The good example as I told you was the fluid fluid inside the blood and this water with 0.9% mass by volume, correct? These two are isotonic solution. Thus, it is safe to inject this normal saline in the human body. Why? Because no osmosis will occur. Both has same osmotic pressure. Now, instead of 0.9% mass by volume, let's take 2.5%. Let's suppose 2.5% mass by volume of NaCl in water. Let this be solution B and this is solution A only. So now since I have increased the concentration, what happens is the vapor pressure of B has decreased. So in this case, what will happen? Vapor pressure of A is constant, but the vapor pressure of B has decreased. So end of the day, what will happen is vapor pressure of A will be more than vapor pressure of B. So this solution will be called hypertonic. Hyper means more. And as I told, the name is based on the concentration of solute. So the concentration of solute, if you see, is 0.9%. Here is 2.5%. The concentration of solid has increased. Right? So I'll say solution B is hypertonic. B is hypertonic to A. That is, my this sodium chloride solution is hypertonic to A. And in this case, if you see, if you put this blood cell in, such a, in a hypertonic solution, what will happen is blood will come out, water, water will come out of this solution to the osmosis and it will shrink. The next is hypotonic. So for example, instead of 0.9%, let me make it 0.1% mass by volume of NaCl in water. That, let that be my solution B. And solution A is still my red blood cell. So in this case, since the concentration is decreasing, the vapor pressure will increase. So what happens, end of the day will be vapor pressure of A will be, B will be more than A because the concentration this is was equal condition right from this i am decreasing to 0.1 percent the vapor pressure will increase for b so vapor pressure of b will be more right so in that case if you put this blood cell in such kind of solution 0.1 percent mass so water will flow from this solution to this red blood cell and if you see it will burst so when you want to inject uh, saline water it's always good to to inject only 0.9 percent mass by volume saline water that is okay if you decrease or increase the concentration it is not good for your body right so if you see that the name don't get confused the name hypotonic hypertonic or isotonic it depends on the concentration of solute so if you see here the concentration of solute was less so it becomes hypotonic the concentration of solute is more this is my base because this is equal the concentration of solute is increasing it becomes hypertonic solution so my solution b is hypertonic for this red blood cell in this case, my solution B, that is my saline water is 
hypotonic to red cell. In this case, my saline water, that is 0.9% molar volume, is isotonic to red blood cell. Correct. The next example, if you see here, so if you have this uh, some uh, cells again vacuoles, if you put in the isotonic solution, nothing will happen. It will be in equilibrium condition. If you put in this in hypertonic solution, this hypertonic solution, okay, what will happen is water will come out. As I told, since it is a semi-permeable membrane, so semi-permeable membrane, the water solvent will flow from dilute to concentrated. So this is more concentrated, right? And this is the inside is dilute. So it will flow from dilute to concentrated and this will shrink. This is other, other way around scenario. Here this is concentrated and this is dilute. Right? This is dilute so it is hypotonic. As I told this again all depends on the concentration. Concentration is less hypotonic. So what will happen is water will flow from here to here and this will burst. Hope you understand this hypertonic hypotonic and isotonic depends on the concentrated of depends on the concentration of the solute in the solution correct so here the concentration of solid in the solution is equal to what is here it is isotonic here the concentration of solute in the solution is more than the concentration of solute here so this solution is my solution b let's suppose is hypertonic in this case the concentration of solute here is less it is dilute than this so this is hypertonic solution. Let's take some numericals in osmosis now. The question says 200 centimeter cube of aqueous solution. That's almost 0.2 liters. Water solution of protein contains 12 1.26 gram of protein. The osmotic pressure at 300 Kelvin is found to be 2.57 10 to the power minus 3 bar. We have to find the molar mass of the protein. Correct. The formula we know is the osmotic pressure is nothing but CRT and C is my molarity. Right? This number of moles per unit volume into RT. Number of moles is what? Mass of protein. Pi molar mass of protein into 1 by V into RT. Let's put the values now. So osmotic pressure is given 2.57 into 10 to the power minus 3 bar. Please note it is in bar. What is the mass of protein? Mass of protein is given 1.26 gram. 1.26 gram. What is the molar mass of protein? That is something you have to find. M mass into 1 by what is the volume of the solution? 2.2 liter. 1 by 0.2 liters. What is the value of R since it is bar and this is in liter? So the value of R is 0.083. This is in liter bar per kelvin per mole. That is the value of R. What is the value of temperature? T is 300 kelvin into 300 kelvin. Let's see the units. So liter and liter gets cancelled here. Right? bar and bar gets cancelled kelvin kelvin gets cancelled correct this is gram and per mole is remaining so if you solve this what happens is if you solve this molar mass comes out to be 61022 gram per mole and that is my answer pretty easy so let's see what we have seen in did you know section. We have seen that when you put this uh, uh, mango in this salty water, salty water, since this is salty water, this will be a hypertonic solution. Correct? Why? Because the concentration of salt in this solution is more. So since this is hypertonic solutions, what happens is the moment you put inside this, it shrinks. Why it shrinks? Since this was a hypertonic solution, right and this is a semi permeable membrane the water will flow the water is a solvent here will flow from lower concentration to higher concentration so it will shrink next is same thing will happen to flower right flower will revive when you put in water right because the water will flow from here to here 
Why? Because this is a fresh water. This is not salty water. This is a fresh water, right? So it is hypotonic solution. It's almost a pure pure water. Correct. And the carrot also, if you see, the carrot becomes fresh when you place in water. Same thing. If you put this in fresh water, fresh water is a hypotonic solution. The water will flow from fresh water to carrot, and it will be revived. Correct. People, if you see, people take a lot of salt. People who take a lot of salt, they they experience water retention in this blood cells. So there are more water here in the blood cells, right? And this results in swelling of the cells. and this has caused a disease called edema so you should not take lot of salt right this also if you see the red blood cells if you take a normal water inside you uh, inside the blood what will happen is it will collapse because the water will flow this will become a normal water if you take that becomes a hypot hypotonic solution for this hypotonic solution so it will uh, water will move from dilute to concentrated also preservation of meat by salting or preservation of fruits by adding sugar is also an example of osmosis where the fruit will lose water or the salted meat will lose water and the bacterial bacteria will not be able to spoil it some of the good examples of osmosis in a day to day life now let's talk about the reverse osmosis now. See, as I told that what is osmosis pressure, osmotic pressure? By default, if you put a uh, pure water and a impure water solution with this semi-permeable membrane, so from this eye, if you see, from the semi-permeable eye, if you see, there are more particles here, less blue particles here. The red ones are anyway not able to pass through, so you can ignore that. So the solvent will flow from left to right. But again, if you apply some pressure here, then it will stop. Right, the pressure at which there will not be any flow of solvent from left to right is called osmotic pressure but if you keep increasing this pressure you increase the pressure so much that the flow of solvent gets reversed instead of left to right it get reversed from right to left right if you increase the pressure more than osmotic pressure then the flow of solvent will reverse it will move from right to left correct if you see it will move from right to left Correct. So this this flow of solvent will move from right to left. So here, what we'll get is pure water. The solvent has moved from right to left. This process is called reverse osmosis, and this is a very critical method used for desalination of sea water. Desalination of See water, right? And for this, the semi-permeable membrane, we use a lot of polymers. A variety of polymers are there in the market, which are used to create this semi-permeable membrane, right? Please note the pressure required for this reverse osmosis is very high, and thus it costs a lot to purify the water, right? So cellulose acetate is also used as membrane. This Kind of membrane, as I told, is permeable to water. As I saw you, the as I've seen, um, as I've just shown you, the blue one water molecules pass through here. These uh, semi-permeable membrane allows water to pass, but it doesn't allow impurities. The red ones are the impurities. They don't allow impurities to pass through in sea water. Correct. It is very very important property, and a uh, lot of countries use this to meet their water needs because water is very important for life. Right, without water we can't survive. And this is the typical uh, diagram of the reverse osmosis process. This is the salt water. If you see, you apply the pressure here, and this is the semi-permeable membrane. Because of the pressure, what happens is the water molecules flow from here to here. Only the water molecule flow; the impurity doesn't flow. Right. So with this, you get fresh water. Here. It's very easy process. Right. Without pressure, actually the water molecule will flow from left to right. But since we are applying more pressure here, the water molecules flow from left to right the impurities are maintained here so the impurities remains on the left hand side 
on the right hand side, sorry, the impurities remain on the right hand side. On the left hand side, you get fresh water drink. Let's take some numericals on this. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.